<laughs> Hell yeah, that's, the, that's a classic, dude. I just don't like being around people I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's every day, though. <laughs> You're right. But I'm usually at my house every day where so there's... Where's no, where's a no <laughs> judgment zone? Really Did you hear the Joyner Lucas shit with Will Smith? Yeah. Bro, that shit kind of hard. <laughs> My daughter judges me every day. She tells me I ain't shit. <laughs> and then she asked me to go buy her ice cream. <laughs>
so I just cut them. You know, you go, you right click and go to cut it. So make sure that's on, and then boom, we got it away. I don't really try to mix my records because I know that the engineer is probably gonna do his thing to him anyway. So I leave everything pretty just pretty much at zero. A lot of people were asking me about the hi hats in this because there's two versions of this album. So in the original album, I left the hi hats pretty straight, which is you know my typical hi hat pattern for any trap song that I do. But um, they put out a deluxe version of this album. And when that came out, uh, the hi-hat sounded completely different because I made two versions of this beat. So I sent it, I accidentally sent in the more updated version of the beat, which had the hi-hat going like all over the place. It was crazy. I didn't think anybody would notice, but somebody found out and they hit me over about it. So yeah, in my, in my favorite version of this song, everything was pretty standard. There was a little hi-hat um, pattern that I added at the end of every like four bars and it sounds like this. Which I basically just took the, the hi-hat and pitched it down. No, I actually, I draw everything in. A lot of people, they draw it in, but they know shortcuts. I never figured out none of the shortcuts on FL. I don't know shit about shortcuts, so everything I do is manual. I literally have to sit here and like, you know what I'm saying? And to create a roll, you know, you go up here and change the, the step sequence. All right, so with this 8-bit sound that I used on Hive, I just, I threw it in my mixer and I put gross beats on it so it could create like an effect, like a triple effect on it. And it sounds like this. what it sounds like all together.